University of Maryland Horn Point Oyster Hatchery are involved in oyster restoration for the state of Maryland. Our part in this is creating this battle and shell that we use in our restoration activities. To do that, we bring in adult oysters, we condition them, we spawn them, we raise the resulting larvae in our big tanks, and grow them up until they're about two weeks old. Once they're about two weeks old, they are mature enough to develop an eye spot in the foot, and they're ready to attach to a hard substrate. At this point, we separate them out, we introduce them into our setting tanks, and get them to attach on shell in those tanks. What you see here is our oyster conditioning system in our broodstock room, and what we're doing is conditioning oysters to be able to spawn them. Each table is controlled by a computer to dial in whatever temperature we determine, and once the oysters are ripe, we will take them to our spawning table and spawn them. This system is simply a holding area. Ripe broodstock are the lifeline of the hatchery. Without ripe broodstock, we can't spawn them, and then we can't raise any larvae from them. Uh, we have to clean them twice a week by just hosing them off, draining them out, making sure they're nice and pretty, and then we'll re put them back into the cold water or the hot water as needed. Once they're ready to spawn, we'll remove them from the system, spawn them, and then they are either returned to the floats to recondition or they can be put back into our system. This here is our spawning table where we force the oysters to reproduce so we can collect their gametes. Uh, temperature is our biggest cue, so what we will do is take them from our conditioning system, put them on the spawn table, lay them out nice and neat, and then we'll turn the water on. Very slowly and gradually over time, we will increase the water temperature. If the oysters don't respond to water temperature, then we can trick them into spawning by stimulating them with gametes or gonad from another oyster. Either the eggs or sperm in the water column will be detected by the oysters when they filter it in, and then they will release their gametes in response to that. Males spawn from the side of their shell. Females will open up and they will clap and every time they clap, they will release the eggs out in a puff. One female will produce anywhere from 2 to 70 million eggs per spawning event. Once we know if it's a male or a female, we'll separate them into different colored tubs, and then we'll let them spawn out. Once they're done spawning, we'll put them in some white buckets, we'll count them, we'll fertilize them, and then we'll put them in our big tanks for grow out.